Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneManna.com. In this video, I want to show you how to create a Google Ads call only ad or a click to call ad as some people call it so that you can start generating phone calls for your business. So let's dive straight into it. We will be using this website with this phone number as an example. And uh, here's our Google Ads account, okay? So head into your Google Ads account. Now there are two ways you can create this call, uh, call only ad. One is by going to campaigns, click on campaigns, click on plus sign here. Okay, so this is the first way. Uh, click on new campaign. So you're gonna create a whole new campaign here. Okay, click on leads, click on search, click on phone calls. And this is going to create this ad for you under this new campaign, all right? But it's not anything different. So it is still a search campaign. You're still targeting keywords, all that stuff. It's just the ad format is gonna be different. Now, if you already have a campaign, the easier way to do it is by clicking on ads. Now, what's interesting is if you select your campaign and then you click ads, you won't see the option here. So what you have to do is click on search campaigns and click on all ads for all of your campaigns. Click the plus sign and now you will see the call ad here. So click the call ad here and it says updated. I'll tell you in a second what that is once we get there. Click on uh, select your campaign, drummers for life and select your ad group. Now it might pre-populate everything based on the other stuff that we did. So for you, if you already had uh, some ads there in that ad group, it might pre-populate all this with it. Don't worry about it, just delete everything, start from scratch like we have here, okay? So let's go from top to bottom and fill in all these blanks. So this is what your ad's gonna look like. As you can see, it's pretty much only on mobile. And you have this headline here as the phone number. So when someone clicks on that phone number, they're gonna, the number is automatically gonna be added to their phone and all they have to do is click call and they're gonna start calling, okay? Uh, I'll get into a little more detail as we go, but that is what a call only ad is. It's gonna have a little website here, but you can't click the website um, right there. You're only gonna be clicking on the headline, okay? Until I'll, we'll get to it, how to get to the website. I'll, I'll show you in a second. But the first thing we're gonna do is let's copy this number. So it's 877-231 um, and 8505. And let's copy the number exactly as we see it, even with the dashes or with the parentheses, exactly as we see it on the website. Now notice how this website is not mine and it doesn't have to be yours in order to promote. You can still promote it and you can still have conversion tracking set up even though you don't own the website, okay? Because Google is gonna replace this number with their own forwarding number so that uh, it can track calls. Because if someone calls through their number, they'll be able to track it as a conversion. So we've done that. So now we can enter a final URL, okay? So let me show you what that's going to do. And this is why it says updated. This is the new change that just recently happened. Well, maybe not that recently, but their latest change. So if we just paste the URL here, now it adds this little option that says visit website. Ooh, look at that. So now people on their phone are gonna have the option to not only call, but they can only choose to, uh, but they can also choose to visit your website. And the reason why Google did this is because they found that there were so many irrelevant, uh, I guess, phone calls uh, that people didn't intend to do. Like they would click thinking they would go to the website and they ended up having the number on their phone and then they said, screw this, I'm looking for something else. Whereas they just wanted to learn more about the company first. And so they added this option to visit website, okay? So that's for you to keep in mind. You don't have to add it if you don't people are gonna have their number, have your number injected straight into the phone. So it's up to you to determine if you wanna do that or if you wanna give people an option to visit the website first. That's up to you, there's no right answer. In this case, let's imagine we do do that. Now we do need to enter a verification URL, that is a must. Google has to verify that this number belongs to you. So you just enter that number and you're good to go. Now you could enter a display path, so for example, drums, lessons, okay, and it's gonna show up right there and the website will show up regardless. So even if you delete this, the website still shows up there, okay? So don't worry about that, we'll repaste it. So now we can add the headline. So we can say, for example, um, so what is this? Number one in, I'm, I'm just reading what it says here. Number one in drums lessons near you maybe. Now what you notice is that the headline, like the very, you know, the, the blue clickable part still stays cold, right? So that will not change. So that is good because people are more likely to actually click and call and talk to you, right? But the headline does show up here. So headline two, we can add something. We can say like um, private lessons, let's say private tailored lessons 
for you. That doesn't fit. Private tailored lessons. Now, ideally, as a rule of thumb in my headline too, I do like to add a call to action. So instead of just saying private tailored lessons, I would like to say call now to talk to us or call now to book an appointment or call now to get more information. I like to add that so it encourages people to call now, okay? Next on the list, we're gonna enter the business name. In this case, it's take lessons. So we can say take lessons and then we can add the descriptions. So let's go back here and let's just copy something. Um, so I'm gonna copy that, control C. I'm gonna head back over here and control V uh, to paste it, uh, take, take places, the place to learn drums one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm just making stuff up. I don't wanna spend too much time. I just wanna show you guys the gist of it. So that's why I'm just uh, doing kind of random stuff. Knowledge, helpful instructors. Okay, so let's just leave it at that. Let's put a quotation mark so like it's like it's like a testimonial. Uh, so description two and description two will not always show up. That's why it says recommended because uh, it adds more space. It looks good, but it, it's not always going to show up. Okay. Um, so we could say maybe we could copy this. And again, I'm just going to paste some random stuff in here. Um, so maybe delete that part. Let's see if that's under the 90 character limit. live interactive and customized and let's just say uncustomized we're gonna delete that and that looks good okay so that's pretty much it for your ad so if someone clicks on this ad uh, on their mobile phone um, they will uh, the number will be straight added to their phone and all they have to do is click call and they're gonna immediately call and that's all there is to it now you can track conversions okay so you will be able to see conversions here as well um, not in this show I well I don't have the column set up here, but you will be able to see conversions. So let me save this ad really quickly and let me show you how to access conversions. So let's go back to this ad group. Now this is under review. This might get disapproved. Keep in mind, uh, you can only have one website per ad group. So in this case, I have this website and then I have a different website in the same ad group. So again, if you're doing this, make sure to have a different ad group for that call only ad, okay? But we have this here. Let's head over to columns. Let's change this column. Select conversions, then just click conversions. Um, I'm just gonna do that, we're gonna reset this, and then we have the conversions here, okay? Now we can also change this out a little bit. So if we head over here and drag conversions over here, uh, we will be able to see the conversions, okay? And so when someone calls your phone number that you have listed here, you will have, it will show up as a conversion. Now you're thinking, well, I don't want every single call to count as a conversion, I want only 30 seconds of a call to count as a conversion. So to do that, simply head over to tools and settings, click on conversions, and we're gonna add a manual conversion. So we'll click the little plus there, click on calls and select this first option here. If you don't want to use a forwarding number and you want Google to use your phone number that you have to use on their ads and everywhere, um, check out my other video on how to track conversions using a non-forwarding number. I'll put the link above. Uh, it's going to be one of these two options. They're basically the same, just once for mobile. But for this purpose, we're going to use this, where you don't need any code at all. Very easy to do. We're going to enter a conversion name. Let's say this is uh, drum lessons. And let's say we'll do 60 seconds. Uh, we can enter a value. So like, let's say every call is worth $5 to us, because let's say out of every 10 people that call, we get 50 bucks, for example. So we can say five bucks. And then here's where you enter the call length. So this is what's gonna say, make it count as a conversion when someone clicks on the ad and talks on the phone, okay? So we, we can leave it at 60 seconds, we can make it 90 seconds. Um, so in this case, let's change this to 90 seconds. Again, whatever you want to count as a conversion. We can leave everything else as is. Let's click create and continue. We'll click done. And now let's head back over to our campaign, uh, to our ad here. Let's go to, oops, drummers for life. Oh my God, can't click. Uh, now we'll click edit and over here from the drop down the conversion settings we're going to select this option that we added and now we will only see a conversion if someone stays on the phone for at least 90 seconds and that is it that's how you create this google ads call only campaign uh, i do have a full comprehensive google ads course where i focus on search ads and how to create and run search ads from start to finish um, mainly just covers all the basic details like keyword tracking all the different extensions you can use all that 
So if you're interested, definitely check out that course on my website, ivanmana.com slash all dash courses. Again, I'll put the link above. Um, but that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.